Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I am going to be playing with makeup that just really excites me. Some of this is new makeup, some of this is older makeup, but I'm just excited to put them on my face. First of all, I want to take a quick moment to thank Deck of Scarlet for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to be using a couple of their products in this video, and I was really excited to partner up with them because they are a high-performance, high-quality makeup brand that is breaking the boredom of clean beauty. Honestly, they did not look like a clean beauty brand to me at all and then when I realized they were clean beauty I was like I was shook because their products are so cool and so innovative. They are 100% vegan and cruelty free and they like I said they're clean. They have a list of over 1500 ingredients that they don't use in their products. I really enjoyed this last week playing around with the products that they sent me just because they were so different to me and really exciting for me to use. The fact that they were clean was just like the cherry on top for me and I've heard of Decorative Scarlet for a few years now and I feel like they've recently rebranded in a way that I think is really working for them because before they didn't really interest me but this whole rebrand and new website that they have going on the products that they are coming out with are just different and you guys know I try makeup all the time so when I get excited about some products that's a pretty big deal so a couple of the items that I've been trying out are these dual drama liquid eyeliners these are really cool one side of the eyeliner is black but the other side is the part that really excites me they have a duo chromed liquid liner on the other side this is what I'm going to be demonstrating in one of my looks and then the other product I'm really excited about are the three-way solid lip oils so I'll be demonstrating those as well very unique product I haven't seen much like this really ever I think that's caught my eye like this those will be used in the video if you see anything that you like you can click the link in the description box and use my code which is on the screen right now to save 20% off on your first order of deck of scarlet without further ado let's get into playing with products that just excite me. I'm going to bring you in closer. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to use is from Rare Beauty. This is fairly new. This is the Pore Diffusing Primer. They did send this to me in PR and I've heard great things about it. Now my skin is very well hydrated right now. I spent this morning masking, really caking on some of my Charlotte's Magic Cream because my skin was feeling really thirsty and now we're feeling really good. So I think I'm good on the hydration end. I have not used this one yet so I'm really excited. Here's what it looks like. Let's see how this does on the skin. So I had a little bit of my Laneige cream skin mist that I applied beforehand on and I almost mattified that. I don't know if you can see but this actually feels quite hydrating for being a pore minimizing primer. Ooh, I love the way this is making my skin feel. Now I don't know that it's covering my pores. We'll see. I don't really have the biggest issue with pores. I mean, I do have pores, but it's never been a real concern for makeup for me. They're still a little bit on the smaller side, uh, but I appreciate that this has some hydrating factors in it. So we'll see how makeup applies over top. Now for foundation today, I'm gonna be using a foundation I've used before and it was initially very exciting for me, but my first experience with it wasn't so great. So I wanna test it out again. This is the Morphe Filter Effect Soft Focus Foundation. I was really excited about this initially because I felt like the packaging was just so luxe and they also partnered with Danessa Myricks to help them with the shade range on this. And I did try it out one time and I'll be honest, I was not a huge fan of it so I'm like determined to make it work so <laughs> that's what we're gonna do I got the shade medium nine and it is so light on me you guys you can see my watch tan oh my goodness I've been teaching outside and gotten a little bit of color despite even wearing a mask, like I feel like my forehead is a little bit more tan than the actual rest of my face because I wear a mask outside. But anyways, my first experience with this foundation was weird because it wouldn't stay on my cheeks. But when I tested it, I was also testing a new primer, which I'm also doing today. So probably not the smartest move, but I want to see if it actually sticks to my cheek today. Maybe it was that primer or was it this foundation? We will find out. Now, if you're my skin tone, um, this shade. It's weird. I thought, I don't know, with Danessa Myricks partnering with them on this foundation, like I'm not a medium skin tone, so <laughs> I don't know why I'm wearing the shade Medium 9. The name is a bit deceiving. <laughs> okay, I can already tell 
I like this better today. Do I love it? No, I'm gonna apply a little bit more. My cheeks, the tip of my cheeks today was extra dry. I do not know why, so we'll see how it reacts over that. Yeah, again, we still have that weird thing going on where it doesn't really cover my cheeks. It doesn't wanna sit on it as well. I will say it's better than the first time I applied it, but you can see it's just not sitting on the cheek right here. It's always right here. It's not normally an issue I have with foundations if ever really I don't think that's ever been an issue at least not for a long time need to put a headband on got this one from forever 21 a few years ago but anyways the rest of my skin I think looks really really nice it's just the fact that it's not sitting on my cheeks very well but the rest of my skin looks nice it has like a good medium coverage I would say because you can definitely see my skin through especially now that it's getting warmer and my freckles are coming out you can see my freckles through but it's very pretty on everywhere except for my cheeks hmm very weird I don't have any new and exciting brow products or concealer so I'm gonna do that and then I'll be back okay eyebrows Concealer is done. I'm going to do things kind of in a weird order, but this, it makes sense in my head. Don't know if it'll make sense to you, but it makes sense in my head. So I've been really excited to try this Kaja Play Bento Blush and Bronzer Trio and how it works. It's layered. So the first layer is a cheek color. You have a highlight and then the last layer is a cream bronzer. Now why I'm so excited about this is they have eye trios that are in this form and I absolutely love those. So I had to try this. Now this was sent to me from Kaja but I was going to buy this. I've been eyeing this so hard. So for now I'm going to dip back into this probably for the highlight not the blush. You'll see why. But I want to try the cream bronzer. I got even more excited when I saw that this had a cream bronzer I thought that was so clever and by the way this is the shade number one butter up I'm going to use my sponge this is how I prefer to apply my cream bronzers and let's see what I think let me move my mirror up so I can see better so this one is really light and natural like they do have shades two and three as well I gave my shade number three away just because I felt that that would be too deep for me so maybe number two would probably show up a little bit more on me but this is a really nice subtle bronzer Bronzer. Wow, really pretty. I mean, it's applying with ease. It looks really good. No, I love a cream bronzer and I get so excited about cream bron bronzers because they just look so skin-like and seamless. I actually really like this color on me. It's just nice, light, natural. I like the cream bronzer. We're gonna come back to this. I'm gonna put it over to the side because we are going to powder the face. Now, this did excite me. I just really liked the concept of it. I'm sure most of you were like, Morgan, that's not <laughs> that exciting but I did love the concept of the Jaclyn Cosmetics Brighten and Set Complexion. Um, I liked it because they have so much coverage to them or at least that's what she advertised. Now I did do a review video on this palette and I liked it. I didn't love it. So I'm still kind of playing around with it so I wanted to play with it. Like I'm still excited to use it you know and see what the different colors offer me. So I'm going to use this shade right here and I'm going to use this on the under eyes to brighten up. And I do like the color that I chose for this palette because the colors really do brighten my under eyes without being too white. So if you're my skin tone, the light medium palette is the best for us. And it's a decent powder as far as quality goes. I do recommend using a brush. I find that when I use it thicker, like with a sponge as she recommends, it looks a bit dry to me. So I'm gonna go pretty light today because my makeup in general is looking a little bit thick on my face today. I'm not in love with how the face makeup is looking today, but you can see that really brightens up the center of my face so I may come back to this a little bit later I'm gonna put it to the side for now because I just wanted to set my under eyes but I like this I don't love it but I do think it has some versatility to it that's really nice that I do appreciate let's move on to eyes now this is one of the products that truly inspired this video so I waited six months for this palette to arrive this is the Butte Bean and Shroud Cosmetics it's freaking bad collaboration palette and it is a gorgeous nine pound palette. Now if you don't know Butte Bean, her name is Betty Jean. She has a channel here on YouTube and this palette definitely was a hot commodity. They did not expect it which is why this took six months. Now Am I happy about waiting the six months? No, but when it's all said and done, I think this color story is so inspiring. And again, I've been so excited to play with it. This is 
kind of what this whole video is based around. It will be doing a restock of this. I, I'm not sure the details right now. I think they're still trying to get through the original orders, but eventually there will be a restock on this. I haven't tried it on my eyes. Swatching so far, it seems to be beautiful. So I'm really excited to give this one a go. Gosh, the colors she chose are just, they're everything, okay? I'm gonna go pretty simple and monochromatic for today, I think, because there's a product that I'm going to use next that I want to work hand in hand with this palette. So I'm going to go a little bit more blue and green today, I think. I know normally you'd probably think I'd go purple, but I'm feeling like more greenish, bluish because of the color of my shirt. So we're gonna start off with this shade right here. Now they do have some fallout. If you can see that, I got some fallout, which is fine. Just tap my brush off and we're gonna start this off very slow. I'm gonna work slow with this because I'm not familiar with the formula. We're gonna blend this into the crease. This is like the perfect, not pukey green, but like grungy pukey green. And that blended out really nice. This color I feel like can be a difficult color to work with, but they did a good job with that. While I'm here, let me quickly run this along the lower lash line. Okay, let's build. I wanna do like a swampy, greenish, bluish kind of look. We're gonna go into this shade right here. This one's like a little bit of a teal green kind of shade, but I think it will be pretty cool in the outer corner. Again, this can be a color that's very difficult to work with and formulate, but so far seems to be working great. And I actually am surprised how well this looks and is working with that Trappa shade. Okay, so that blended in very nice together. Great matte quality. I've got to use this kind of chartreuse shimmery shade handbook and I just I want it to go everywhere so that's what we're gonna do absolutely stunning and it's applying with so much coverage quality is really nice I've never tried shroud cosmetics eyeshadows before but they are not disappointing I have I think two videos on my channel that are titled why indie shadows are better than high-end and this is a new brand to me but that title also applies to this indie brands just do it best and i've only used three shades but so far i mean they're working with me beautifully so much ease oh my gosh i love the colors betty jean pulled for this so pretty i hope you can see why this palette inspired this video and why it excited me so much i'm gonna get a smaller detailed brush we're gonna use the shade sam right here which this is such a good versatile centerpiece for this whole palette because I feel like it goes with all the shades that you see. And we're gonna put this on the inner corner as the highlight. Super pretty. Now it does have some depth to it. I wouldn't say it's like a brightening highlight. I'll probably go in with something a little bit brighter after this, but I did want to incorporate it in this look right there. Because I'm just, I have such a heavy attraction to this chartreuse shade, I'm going to just put it everywhere, like the inner half of the lower lash line. I'm gonna just go all out with it because it's working beautifully with a finger. It's working beautifully on a brush. Assuming that the quality is consistent with these four shades that I've used for today's look, can't go wrong with the quality. I think I need to check this brand out a little bit more. Okay, I think this is the look that we're gonna do. I know it's crazy, but the next product I'm going to use is also crazy. Officially fan of Shroud Cosmetics. I think these shadows have a superb quality. The color story on Betty Jean's end is perfect. Six months was a long time to wait for it, but I'm more than happy I picked it up and hopefully when they restock it, it will definitely be worth it. Assuming you don't have to wait six months. But let's move on to the next product and we are going to deck of Scarlet products. Now this one is such a fun item. I was so excited to receive these. These are called the Dual Drama Liquid Eyeliners. Now what they are, as you can see, they have duochrome metallic liquid liner here at the end, which is part I'm excited about. Now at the other side, they also have a black li liquid liner. Being 100% honest, I'm not a fan of this side. It's not a brush tip applicator and I just really struggle to get an even application with the black. I'm, I'm not a big fan of it. I'm not even going to bother using that side, but I have had a much better experience with the metallic side. I'm really excited about them. So I'm going to swatch them all for you just so you can kind of see what they're all about. But let me show you this first color. This first one is Solar Flare. It's a dazzling bronze duochrome that flips green gold. And you guys know I have a hard time like showing the duochrome, but you can kind of see it in the actual product itself. Deciding which one 
one I want to use because I just feel like it's so perfect to use for this look. Oh, and just so you can see, here's what the applicator looks like. I find it this side a lot easier to use with the metallic rather than the black. I feel like because the black side doesn't have that um, even layer of pigment, but oddly the metallic side does. So this is the shade Retrograde, which is a rosy plum duochrome that flips golden olive, and you can even see it right there. This is a contender to use today. Actually, just kidding. Okay, I'm actually using this one today. This one will be perfect. So this one is Interstellar. It's a vibrant teal duochrome that flips cobalt blue. <laughs> I love these! Okay, and here's the last one. This one is Cosmic Rays, which is a rich violet duochrome that flips deep indigo. Taking a look at my look, I think the interstellar one is going to go best with my makeup. I'm going to be very silent applying this because I don't want to mess up. <laughs> And you can see how easily that applied as well. I don't know why I have so much problems with the black side, but the metallic side is oddly easier to apply. Okay, and there we have it. I mean, obviously I don't think this, these eyeliners are gonna be a product for everybody, but if you really like playing with eyeliners and doing something fun, I think you will really like these. I think they would be really cool on their own as well without any eyeshadow on the lid for the duochromes to really stand out. But I think they do such fun things for a look like this. Like right now it might look a little bit fun, but when you get lashes and stuff like that, it really changes everything. But we'll come back to the eyes. I want to move back to the face because I have some products that I'm really excited to use. So I'm going to start off with a cream highlighter. This one I spent an arm and a leg on. It's so luxe and I've just been wanting to use it more. So I picked this up during the Sephora VIB event and it's something that I added last minute because I saw everybody using and I also wanted to use it. So this is from Westman Atelier. This is the super loaded tinted highlight. I got the rose shade, which probably wasn't my best move, but it just looks so beautiful. I was going to use it as a blush topper, but it actually is more highlighty. So I'm still kind of seeing how I like applying it. So I'm using it today because I think it's so pretty and the packaging, ugh, it's like so weighty. I love it. I'm just going to put just a little bit right there as a base today. And you saw I did set my face and I'm not a big cream liquid highlight person, but this does really well over the powder. It's not disrupting the base that we have on underneath. And can you see it's nothing's being disrupted. So pretty. If you like cream highlights, I mean, so far I've had a really nice experience with these. So I'm going to use that as the base for our highlight today. And I've only used this twice prior and this is my third time using it and I'm liking it even more. It's more subtle, but it's stunning. Um, okay, now blush. There really is a standout blush that I'm super excited about and you should know Pat McGrath came out with her blushes. I picked up seven shades. Actually, I picked up six, but a seventh one came and it was too dark for me. So I gave it to my mom. So let's see. I'm thinking this shade right here, Desert Orchid, is going to be the winner today just because I feel like it goes best with the tones that we have. I'm still getting my bearings about what colors I like from the line. So that's why I want to use it today as well, just to be able to tell you what colors I like the best. This was such an exciting launch for me and many of you guys as well, because we've been waiting for Pat McGrath to launch a blush. Now I do have a whole review of them up already, but like I said, I'm still getting into it. But yes, I think Desert Orchid is definitely going to be the winner today. Now these blushes are $38. I don't know. It's, you know, it's not worth going bankrupt over. It's a blush formula, but I think they're a stunning formula. As a blush fan, I can really appreciate the formula here. I don't think it's worth buying a bunch of colors for. You don't need the whole line, but it's definitely a luxury to pick up one or two shades that you really like. What makes this formula stand out to me as opposed to other blushes? I feel like it's so blurring on this skin. And this shade was perfect. You see how easily it worked itself out? Very pretty. I have nothing bad to say about the blushes. I think they're a bit expensive, of course, but they're a great formula. Okay, let's bring it back to highlight. I wanted to use another shade in the Kaja since I'm skipping out on the blush because, I, I mean, Pat McGrath wins always. But I will play with the highlighter that is also in here. Oh, it might be a bit pinky for the look today, but I want to use it and at least, you know, lay down some thoughts here about this. And we do have the cream highlight underneath, so it's going to be a little bit more blingy, which is what we want, okay, for this look. Oh, that's really pretty. It's nothing groundbreaking and you can see some texture emphasization going on right there, but it's pretty. 
I mean, I like the bronzer. I like the highlight so far. I still have to play with the blush. But this is a really cute little trio to carry around or to go on vacation with or to throw in your purse. Okay, I'm just gonna throw on some eyelashes and we'll be back to work on the lips now. I feel like this foundation is not doing me many favors. So I'm looking like a little bit dry in this area. It is what it is. It's fine. Anyways, the look really pulled together with eyelashes like I told you it would. <gasps> so pretty. Okay, let's move on to lips. So I'm going to start off by lining my lips with the M Cosmetics Soft Velvet Blur Lip Liner in the shade Fawn. I've been really enjoying these. They're so easy to apply. M Cosmetics does a great job. I'm so happy to see Michelle Fawn having such a successful makeup line. Just a little bit of lip definition here. Okay, and the last product for lips. This is one. Well, I just thought it was such a cool concept. Uh, this is from Deck of Scarlet and these are called their three-way solid lip oils. Now, as you probably know, lip oils seem to be very, very trendy and I haven't seen like a solid lip oil. So I was very intrigued and I've been loving these. I've been using them for the last week. Really great color selection. I have one, two, three, four, five, six colors that they sent me and they have so much more pigment than I thought they would. They are so extremely hydrating. Here are the swatches so you can see the line of colors. Like I said, they're super pretty, great wearable colors, but also some fun pops as well. For today's look, I'm going to use the shade Nude Ambition. These are made in South Korea. So I think Korea was very big on lip oils. So I think they do a really good job with that. So how the product works, okay? It's just in this sleek black packaging. The only thing that I do wish with the packaging is that there was something to indicate the color because if you have multiple ones like me, um, you can't see what color is what but here's what it looks like it comes in a stick form and you have to push the button at the end to get the product up i did apply a lip liner underneath because these are really comfortable to wear without a lip liner if you're doing like a no makeup makeup kind of look to throw it on but since i'm looking for a little bit of longevity i wanted a lip liner to just kind of hold the product a little bit better but look at that you see how pigmented and glossy and hydrating that looks not what i would expect a lip oil to be like my lips look huge. So um, yeah, these have been a really neat product. It can be a bit messy, which is why I definitely recommend a lip liner, especially if you're kind of building up the color because there is thickness to this and you don't want it to run all over your face, but it is hydrating, super glossy looking. You don't need a lip liner, obviously hard to wear with masks. Don't wear it with a mask, but as far as every day, absolutely beautiful. Very intrigued by the formula here. I think they did an awesome job with that. And I definitely don't have another product like this in my collection. So I'm going to back us up. We're going to talk a little bit about the products that I used today and finish this video up. So we're going to start off with the base. I started off with the Rare Beauty Pore Diffusing Primer. Like I said, pores, not my main issue here. I, I really don't know if it diffuses my pores, but I can say it does feel very hydrating. So for a pore diffusing primer, I liked that it also had a hydration factor. So this actually felt really nice on my skin, but I'm not quite sure yet it made a big difference. The more I use this, the, the less I like the Morphe filter effects soft focus foundation which is a shame because I was really excited about it it looked like it would be a very high quality foundation but I'm just looking at my skin it looks pretty thick sitting on my skin and it's just it's not doing me much favors it looks a little bit drying so yeah not the best experience with that so far I'm liking the Kaja play bento blush and bronzer trio here I still need to play with the blush but I'm really into the cream bronzer I love that they added the cream bronzer and the highlight is pretty as well kind of non script kind of in the middle but I just think it's so cute I love these the Jaclyn cosmetics brightening setting whatever this is squad I think it's nice I don't think it's anything you need to run out and get but if they ever have a sale I do like using this to brighten up and set the face I think you know if you don't apply too much of the powder it looks really good so I mean I like this I think it's fine the Pat McGrath labs blush again I've been very much enjoying these a lot not you know the best groundbreaking blush formulation but I think the colors are beautiful application is beautiful and I've definitely been enjoying my time with these so far the Westman Atelier super loaded tinted highlight I'm still not sold on this because of the price while I did like it in that initial application as I took a look closer I did see it looking a little extra dry and like the product moved around a bit underneath of this so I still have to continue testing it which is a shame I was so excited about it because I just loved the packaging that it came in but not 
completely sold on this one yet. Let's move on to the eye products that I used today. Ooh, yes, this palette did not disappoint. Absolutely beautiful. I can't wait to see what other looks I create with this because I feel like there is so much room for creativity in this little palette that has nine shades. I just, I can't get over it. It's awesome. And the Deck of Scarlet Dual Liners, as stated before, the black side's not for me, but these metallic sides are so fun. I really wanted to create a look where this product could also stand out and I'm very happy. I feel like it added a little bit extra to this fun look. So if you create a lot of looks where you feel like you could utilize something with like this, I definitely recommend it. I don't see a lot of products like these on the market and I think what makes these stand out is the pigmentation because a lot of times I feel like if I've had products like these, the coverage was just so uneven on the eyes. I didn't really need to build up. You saw the application. It just went down with that coverage. So that was really nice. And then finally, the lip oils. Again, this is such a fun formula. It's a very popular style of product right now and I think it's going to be great for the summer. So there we have it. That was all of the new makeup that has been exciting me to use and I wanted to use it on camera with you guys. And again, a big thank you to Deck of Scarlet for working with me on today's video. Again, make sure you click below and use my code to save 20% off on your first purchase from Deck of Scarlet. And take a look around. They have some other cool products as well, not just the ones that I showed you today. And that's all I have for today's video. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.